Do you ever feel like you only see good trading opportunities after the fact, after the actual opportunities have played out, or maybe your situation is a bit different. You actually do your fundamental analysis, you do your technical analysis, you mark up your charts, you identify the levels where you're looking to enter, but then price is not yet close to those levels. So you get distracted, you focus on other opportunities, and then you completely forget about that trading opportunity and that analysis that you had done. Couple of days later, you go back to your charts and you find that your analysis played out exactly like you had anticipated it, but unfortunately you missed it because you got distracted. So in this video, I just wanna talk about what I call one of the biggest mistakes that most retail traders make that actually keep them away from exploiting or taking advantage of good trading opportunities. And obviously you should have an idea of what I'm talking about. It's obviously not FOMO. I know a lot of people talk about FOMO, the fear of missing out. I think that's the least of the problems for retail traders, but I think the biggest is what we, some people call shiny object syndrome, right? Because I've, I've experienced this before. Yes, to this day or currently, I seldom experience this, but I've experienced it before, right? So prime example is this silver trade that you have right in front of you. But before we even get onto this silver trade, let us just look at some examples of what I'm actually talking about, right? So right here, this is this is this is a member in one of the groups, right? So, so one of the of the monthly private community groups that you can join. You don't necessarily have to be a, a, a client of mine or be part of my of my coaching to join this. Uh, you can just join and get to experience uh, the whole uh, the whole process of fundamentals, fundamental updates, and also you get to join the Zoom sessions that we do every single Sunday where we break down the week ahead and the previous week. We, we do a recap on fundamentals, technical analysis, and everything, right? So this is what the member did, right? So this member shared a trade idea on Euro AUD. As you can clearly see here, I'm looking to short Euro AUD. So this was roughly around the beginning of, uh, of September, right? And this is essentially the screenshot of the of the actual AUD uh, Euro AUD position, right? And then this was me uh, on September 23rd. I essentially asked the gentleman that what happened with this Euro AUD trade? because this euro aud trade actually played out exactly like how he had how he had anticipated it to actually play out but then he got distracted and this is the biggest killer for most retail traders like i said i've been there it for me it was one of the biggest killers because i would do the analysis move away from it Forget about it because I'm now focusing on, on another on another trading opportunity. Or maybe I looked at someone else on social media and they showed me what they what they are focusing on and I ended up chasing that as well. And I forgot about what I had initially planned on doing. Right? So with this but with this particular member in the private group, this is what he experienced. Well, for me, for he gave me he gave me his 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 his, his reason of which I'll call it an excuse, but his reason that he was waiting for price to I don't know pull back a bit more or something. But if you had analyzed that this is exactly the level where you you expect price to be at for you to look to sell, then you should have been paying attention to Euro AUD like a hawk, stalking Euro AUD like a hawk every single day. It should have been your first go to right but obviously this is not a rant on that but this is just to highlight the importance of following through with your analysis first and foremost but secondly not being distracted because remember everyone focuses we all focus you either focus on distractions or you focus on intention and this is the primary purpose why i'm doing this video because i missed a lot of trading opportunities because i got distracted and I know most retail traders also experience the very same thing. They also go through the very same thing that I went through, right? So this is essentially why I'm doing this video. 
But now let's go back to the silver trade that I'm talking about because that's that's where we started, right? So this silver trade, I've spoken about it before and uh, obviously two positions, one in beginning of August and the first ones I had uh, around February 2024, right? And I'm still holding this trade. Now, why am I sharing this trade with you? Because going back to what we are covering in today's video, it is about sticking to the plan following through not getting distracted so this is an art this is a, essentially a post not even an article a post that i shared uh, in the beginning of this year eight months ago and i'm not gonna read the whole post but essentially this is the this is the paragraph that i want to highlight right so let this paragraph right here so here's what i said let us not forget that 2024 was already expected to be a year of slow growth recession risks and interest rate cuts and then all of the events mentioned above are shifting the sentiment to risk off in favor of safe haven assets and oil benefiting in this particular scenario right so obviously you have to read the whole to get a context you have to read the whole the whole article the whole post but essentially the key thing is that this was the expectation the same way that the gentleman had an expectation on euro aud this was the game plan the expectation i had coming into 2024 and obviously if i'm expecting slow growth recession risks and interest rate cuts then that means that i should look to buy what safe haven assets i should look to buy gold look to buy silver because when interest rates go lower then it benefits what it benefits gold it benefits silver because they do not yield an interest right they do not pay an interest and then eventually as interest rates go lower then the real yield which is inflation adjusted interest rates they essentially no longer protect investors against inflation because they are essentially what they are essentially close to zero or maybe negative so what will happen then investors will start diverting their capital into what into silver or gold into safe haven assets predominantly gold right but this was a game plan and had i gotten distracted and no longer stuck to what i had expected or anticipated let me put it that way because nothing is 100 percent certain but i'm just trying to show you the importance of following through and the importance of sticking to the plan that you have and not getting distracted right and obviously as long as, as it, even when interest rates start to fall, then the dollar will start to weaken. Obviously, if United States or U.S. interest rates go lower, the dollar will start to weaken, making it what more affordable to buy commodities because most commodities are what are denominated in U.S. dollars, right? So all of these things are things that I had in the back of my mind in the beginning of 2024, eight months ago, and it is the very same reason reasons why I actually stuck to this trade that is the very same reason why i'm still holding this trade because that is the theme that i had anticipated coming into what coming into 2024 and obviously now we've seen the fed actually lower interest rates and i do anticipate to expect higher prices in silver as well as gold right the more the federal reserve continue to deliver what interest rate or more interest rate cuts so the importance here is that do stop getting distracted stop chasing the next shiny object stop suffering from shiny object syndrome the biggest killer or the biggest pitfall that most retail traders fall into is what shiny object syndrome it's not FOMO it's not the fear of missing out yes we, yes some do experience that but most it is because they only get to see opportunities after the fact or they had planned for those to 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 take advantage of those opportunities but they got distracted they they started chasing the next big thing and then they actually what missed out on that opportunity right so this was part of the game plan and i stuck to the game plan have i had losing trades this year yes most definitely i have but the importance of this is to show you that you need to have an idea a fundamental a fundamental trade idea back it up with technical analysis because that is how i was able to buy at the lows every single time price pull pulls back because i use technical analysis so you need to marry the two fundamental analysis and technical analysis and then that will give you an edge in the forex market or let me just say in the financial markets because it, it does not only uh, pertain to forex trading right so 
it is very important that you follow through. It is very important that you do not get distracted so that you can be able to take advantage of those opportunities, right? Silver has appreciated over 30%. I think it's 34% in 2024 alone. And I've, and I've been able to catch majority of the move, right? Why? Because I did not get distracted on the plan that I had coming into 2024. That is essentially the purpose of this video that if you do not, if you no longer want to keep on missing out on trading opportunities, especially if you've done the analysis, stop getting distracted. Focus on intention and ignore distraction, right? So I just wanted to bring this video to you guys. And obviously if you found value from this video, like the video and if you have if you, if you have not yet subscribed do subscribe and share the video with someone you feel might benefit from this but the key takeaway that i or the, the thing that i want you to take away from this video is that stop getting distracted stop chasing the next big thing stop suffering from shiny object syndrome especially in the financial markets where they there seems to be multiple opportunities and there's a reason why i said there seems to be multiple opportunities because that's not the that's not the case but it seems as if there's a lot of opportunities because there are a lot of intro instruments that you can trade but irregardless of that stop getting distracted right so just wanted to bring this video to you guys and i'll see you in the next video